My name is Christian Griffith. I'm 44 years old. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm going to be the next American Ninja Warrior because I'm absolutely made for this stuff. I think what makes me different than the other contestants that you've seen is that I have an extremely varied background. I uh, grew up my life as a sponsored amateur skateboarder, surfer, uh, went in then to bodybuilding, powerlifting, I uh, currently run ultra marathons. I've run six 100 mile races. Uh, me and my wife learned the salsa, the swing, the hustle, and the tango. I serve as uh, senior vice president of digital strategy for the agency. My role is utilizing all the different digital uh, communications tools out there to help companies market themselves to various niche audiences. For me, the whole white picket fence American dream thing, you know, all of those things I've had. And at the end of the day, when I looked around at them, I thought, my God, none of this stuff means anything to me. You know, it's when I'm out in these like, crazy terrains and these unusual situations. To me, that's when I like really feel alive. Yeah! In, uh, in 2012, I had, I had just returned from um, Fuehuia, which, which is that race I do in Nicaragua. And um, I, I just started having all of these complications. I described him as a most interesting 41-year-old gentleman who initially came to the emergency room on March 26th because he had some pleuritic chest discomfort. Uh, this little amoeba found its way into his liver. Arthur the amoeba. Um, after two or three times at the emergency room, uh, they finally kept me in the hospital. This is something that um, even an individual practicing infectious disease may only see three or four times in their career. But he needed actually a needle aspiration of his liver where we had a radiologist place a needle directly into the site where the uh, liver abscess was. It uh, left me with a unilaterally paralyzed diaphragm and a wing scalpula. This is a very unusual thing to occur in people and he is a remarkable young man. I've now gotten to the point two years later where I can fill my lungs to about 87% capacity. I had to go back and compete because the event means so much to me. I wasn't gonna let something like this beat me. I've been with my wife for over 16 years. I've been married for 10. I have a stepson, uh, Austin. I've been with him since he was three. Even though I wasn't his real dad, I feel like I grew up right along with him. My family would probably bet on the fact that I could do it. They know my never say die attitude. They've seen me suffer more than anyone. They've seen me train harder than anyone. Of course they have that love for me. So I believe that they believe that I can do it.